Skyrim, a vast province on the planet of Nern. Being the most northern region, it has a different variety of regions, and with each region, a different biome. And much like Earth, Skyrim has a tundra. Today, we'll be looking into the similarities between the tundra of Skyrim and Earth's tundra. Skyrim's tundra is located in the central region of the map, in the Whiterun Hold. Now, Earth's tundras are located in the northern part of the world, in Nunavut, Greenland, and a part of Russia. Now, as for wildlife, Skyrim is home for many a creature, much like the following. Skyrim foxes, much like Earth foxes, roam around the tundra and do absolutely nothing while looking just adorable. Deer and elk are also found in both Skyrim and Earth's tundra. They're used for meat and fur by the natives. Wolves are also to be of note in living in the Skyrim tundra. Be wary, these vicious animals will attack on sight. In the more northern regions of Skyrim, we have the Horkers. As they are only present in Skyrim, we relate them to the Walrus, very similar. They can both dive into the frigid water and not be affected by it. As well as the Horker being found in the most northern part of Skyrim, goats can be found, as they both, in Skyrim and Earth, reside in the cold climate. And finally, an odd fellow, a mammoth. These animals do roam Skyrim, but as there are no presently on Earth, we can relate it to the muskox, a furry animal that does reside in the tundra. And now we will move on to the plant life. There isn't very much in both tundras, but they are all very diverse from each other. First, we'll be looking at the snowberries. These reside all over Skyrim, mostly in the colder climates. They resemble the bear berry, or berry. Ha! The bear berry grows close to the ground as to avoid the strong tundra winds. Next, we'll be looking at the thistle branch. This is a very common plant, as it closely resembles the arctic willow, a smaller plant that yet again grows close to the ground as to avoid the harsh winds of the tundra. Here we have the hanging moss, which generally resembles the arctic moss and caribou moss. Both mosses are lichen that grow close to the ground like every other plant we've covered. Now finally, we have the red, blue, and purple flowers about Skyrim. These most likely resemble the Labrador tea. Both have almost alchemic properties to them. Labrador tea providing a poison of which, yet the natives still use it for tea and such. Now, because of much human impact, lots of species are being affected going into rare numbers or even extinct. This human effect includes industrialization, overhunting and fishing, housing and nuclear plants. Much applies to Skyrim, but I don't believe there are many nuclear power plants around here. Now, although much damage has been sadly done, you can still help. Just Google any organization like the Arctic Council or the World Wildlife Fund. They can give you many tips and tricks on how to prevent these human impacts. Thank you for joining me through this wild documentary of the amazing tundra. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because shameful plugs are okay with me.